Hello guys, welcome to the platform once again. It's great to be back on your screen for another episode of analysis on Fauzan um, Sports. Today, tonight we are looking at um, Napoli's um, Osimhen's exploitation. Yeah, by exploitation in terms of financial, that's what I mean. If it happens to be your first time of joining me on this platform, please, please do well to hit the subscribe button on that's on um, youtube i'm not i'm not feeling the subscribers so make sure please 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 you upgrade it for me please 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 TikTok um, a little bit i see it there and then facebook i also see some improvements a little bit there thank god whatever it coming if irrespective of the size of it you have to thank god but on youtube the subscribers make sure please please let's do well to upgrade it uh, i know uh, how challenging sometimes it may be but hopefully let's see what happens god richly bless you all those who have subscribed already god richly bless you i extend my hand of prayers unto you for god's continuous blessings unto you as you keep on uh, being faithful to the platform once again and to the platform yeah victor osimen's um, extension of contract at napoli um do uh, subscribe share the program comment to um uh, uh, agree or disagree with me on analysis yeah and then um we proceed uh, give me likes and thumbs up as you you have been doing although i must uh, i must admit a little bit of uh, improvement in the um youtube views though the subscribers are not increasing by a little bit of improvement in the youtube views so let me acknowledge that because um we were from somewhere and so if we are making progress we have to admit it um so th thank you very much uh, my faithful um followers and uh, subscribers god richly bless you as i extend my hand of prayers unto you yeah um victor osimens um chelsea smooth uh still into the move but um one thing that Napoli is forgetting is that um, the Chelsea of last season, last summer, uh, is not this current Chelsea because we're putting the sporting structures in place, right? Last summer, Chelsea were paying 106 million for Enzo Fernandez, 100 and uh, plus 150 million for Caicedo, and because that happened, uh, some of the clubs um, were overpricing their players, waiting for Chelsea, and then Arsenal also paid 100 million for Declan Rice. And so because of that, some of the clubs were trying to inflate the prices of their players. The likes of Sporting Lisbon, I remember the uh, issue of Victor Gyokeris. Yeah, Gyokeris, they want an upfront of 80 million to 90 million euros for him. Up till now, I don't think anybody has got, any team has gone there to pay. Now, most of the big clubs are, wise, are, getting, are becoming wise. Real Madrid are getting the players, but free. Even today, they unveil Mbappe free from PSG. They didn't pay a dime. And so Chelsea this season, this summer, are not paying so much for players. Though they are getting some free also. They got Tosin Adarabio for free. Uh, Dewsbury Hall for 30 million. Uh, and then uh, another player for 20 million. Uh, yeah, and so they are not paying that much. Kelly, Kellyman of um, Aston Villa. Yeah. And so Napoli wanted 130 million. But the bad news I have for Napoli is that I don't think Chelsea is going to pay the 130 million. What is the release clause of Victor Osimhen? Chelsea could have used the Lukaku situation to uh, make sure they take advantage of Napoli negotiations. But Chelsea are flexible with respect to the Lukaku situation because Chelsea uh, will want to clear Lukaku off their wage bill. We want to clear, delete him. Because he's earning so much money. And so Chelsea uh, will welcome anybody that will negotiate reasonably to sell Lukaku off. So that's why, according to reports, Chelsea have agreed with Napoli. That's on one condition. And the condition is that if um, Victor Osimhen is sold, that condition is activated. Right? And so that's the only condition that the deal can be effected. And so that will be difficult because even Victor Osimhen's 130 million release clause, nobody is going to pay that clause. And uh, some reports are saying they are ready to take 100 million. If 100 million, Chelsea will not pay the 100 million, right? Chelsea are not the last year when they will pay 100. Now Arsenal and Chelsea are not paying 100 million. So the likes of Napoli who are waiting for 100 million and 30 million for Osimhen will stay there forever. Nobody will come. Chelsea and Arsenal, Real Madrid and Barcelona. Now they are even buying players for free. 
And then uh, for Sporting Lisbon, Victor Gyokeres. No team is going to pay 80 or 90 million. I'm not trying to uh, give them uh, bad news, but I'm being on, uh, optimistic and honest with them. That teams are wise now. They are not paying such ridiculous sums of money for players. That's uh, Victor Gyokeres. And then there's another player, uh, Ivan Tony for Brentford. Brentford also wanted, initially, they were quoting 100, 100 million pounds sterling. But even they reduced it to 50 million and nobody is coming for Ivan Tony. Yeah, and so clubs are becoming wise. And so if you think any club will come and pay you 100 million, forget it. You will keep your player and you will become a ghost. Yeah, in Africa, <laughs> in Ghana. <laughs> okay, no problem. I won't highlight it with African, what they call it. We are doing English, right? You will become a ghost, just like a, bu or busum, a, a ghost to you there. You will stay there. Nobody will come and buy the player, right? Sorry for using the local language in Ghana. Those of you, most of you are not Ghanaians, I know. One. And then the second reason why Chelsea will not pay the 100 million for Victor Osimhen is because of the PSL. The profit and sustainability rules has come in and is further worsening the situation. So Chelsea and most of the clubs aren't going to be paying those amount of money. And three, most also equally important, because of the sporting structure that Chelsea has built now, Chelsea doesn't uh, spend recklessly like they used to do. And so it will be difficult it will be difficult for Victor Osimhen to get a buyer. And I know he wants to play Chelsea, but um, Chelsea ain't coming with, his, with the 130 million that he has in his release clause. And so that was uh, the mistake that even he made in extending that contract. He should have put a figure a reasonable figure from 70 to 90 million so that Chelsea can come maybe 65 or 70 million they get him even I don't, from the way Chelsea are behaving they are not even they don't want to pay so much for Victor Osimhen that's the bad news for him not that he doesn't deserve the money he deserves the money but Chelsea are wise now and so the earlier clubs start repricing their players the better because most of the teams are moving away from buying players for 100 million Real Madrid started doing it to Ameni uh, and some other players, but now Real Madrid has stopped. I said it, I think, in one of my videos, those of you who, who've been watching my videos. This isn't sustainable. You can't sustain it. You can't be paying 100, 100 million for players. No, where are you, where are you going to get the money from? Yeah, you, you, you can't fund it. So most of the clubs uh, are becoming wise and now are shying away from that reckless spending. And I'm happy for that. I'm, I'm happy that we are not buying players for 100 million, but I'm happy players are getting money. So don't get me wrong. Don't say I hate players for earning their money. No. I'm happy they are getting their money. But for buying them at 100 million, 80 million, no, I don't support that. So that's my point. Yeah, and um, that's the situation with Vitor Osman. And there's uh, Enzo Fernandez, some racial issues and other stuff, which uh, maybe I will deal with that in another video, not probably in uh, one or two days to come. I've not investigated that much in the situation so um, please if you haven't subscribed to the channel do it with the subscribe button touch the notification bell share the program and then comment to agree or disagree with respect to this analysis of napoli's osimens financial exploitation thank you very much cheers love you guys